This is Gary Schnitke, and this is a Farm Doc Daily 5-minute version that deals with yield updating under the 2018 Farm Bill. This year, under the 2018 Farm Bill, farmers will be able to obviously make their, by March 15th, their ARC and PLC decisions, and that will apply to the 2019 and 2020 years, so there will be that. Uh, deadline. There is also another deadline, which is September 30th. By September 30th, farmers and landowners, actually landowners, will be making decisions on each FSA farm for each program crop, whether to keep the current yield or update the yield. Those decisions will impact program yields or PLC yields on farms after and including 2020. So we can do that decision, the yield updating decisions before or after our ARC PLC choice. We could do the yield updating decisions right now, even if we haven't made the P, the ARC PLC choice. And so doing that now would be okay, or waiting till after the March 15th deadline would be good as well. If you try and do the yield updating between February 15th and March 15th, FSA will likely tell you to wait a little bit bit while and do it after the March 15th deadline. The yield update decision is going to be a choice of two yields. The first is each program crop on an FSA farm has a program yield already. And an individual farmer, landowner, can choose to keep that current program yield or they can update that yield based on farm yields from 2013 to 2017. And so we can look at either one of those two yields, calculate those, in particular the 2013 to 2017 yield, compare it to the program yield. And your decision is pretty simple. Choose the higher yield. So if the update yield is higher, you'll choose the update yield. If you choose, if the current yield is higher, you'll choose the current yield. You can do that for each crop on each farm, and decisions can vary across farms. We have developed a Excel tool, PLC yield updating tool, which is available on, with our 2018 Farm Bill tool. Go to the FAST section of Farm Doc to download it. In here, the, the, the user will make a choice of state, county, and crop. So our example here has Illinois, LaSalle County, and corn, and that will do two things. It will bring in the national yield factor. Yield factors are 0.9 for corn and soybeans, higher for wheat. So your choice of crop will choose the national yield factor, and your state county crop choice will bring a substitute yield in. That substitute yield will be used if the farm yield for updating is lower than the substitute yield. You can enter the current yield, which every FSA farm again has that. Our current yield in this case is 120 bushels per acre. So our break-even yield is 148.15. So yields from 2013 through 2018, the average of those must exceed 148.15 for the update yield to exceed the current yield. So the, up to the, the yields in those years must be higher than that. You can then enter the yields for every year from 2013 to 2017. These should be from the farm, farm yield. You don't need documentation when you sign up, but at some point in the future, documentation will be maybe re requested. That doc crop insurance would serve as a documentation. This case, we have a yield in 2013, 2015, and 2017. We have a rotation here on this farm, and we didn't plant corn in 2014 and 2016. So those three yields will determine our average yield from 2013 and 2017. All those three yields exceed the substitute yield, so we're going to use our farm yields in our average calculation. The average will be, will be in this case, 191.33. Again, the average of those three yields. If we had five yields, we would average five yields. Our update yield will be that yield times our national yield factor, 0.9 times 0.9. 
point nine as well, another point nine. And our, our update yield in this case will be 154.98 bushels. That happens to be higher than our current yield, so updating will result in a higher PLC yield. That tool, this tool is available for download from our FarmDoc website. Go to the FAST section. And if you want more information on, on uh, yield updating, go to FarmDoc and look at, at our FarmDoc Daily uh, website. You'll see a yield updating article. And that is linked to in the description section of this YouTube video.